quality control is equivalent to verification of the assertions that are made about the data grid and data collection properties. The set of assertions made about the properties of a shared collection are candidates for enforcing quality control. Each assertion should define a property that will be enforced. Each property can be enforced by policies at policy enforcement points. Each property can be verified through periodic execution of a validation rule. This is a meta assertion. Quality control can be enforced as a set of policies applied within the data grid. Metrics are usually defined as the desired targets when evaluating quality control. Each metric defines an expected number or rate that should be met by a property. Example metrics include uniformity. Each property is consistently applied to every entity. Consistency, the same property is created for every entity. Correctness, the most recent version of each procedure was applied when enforcing policies and all entities have been processed with the most current procedures. Summarization information is also needed. For collections, the total size and number of bytes is known. The number and type of metadata attributes is known. For users, the number of users, submitters, and retrievers is known. For integrity, the number of replicas and the distribution across storage system is known. For files, the uniformity of prominence information can be verified, as well as the uniformity of format types. Additional metrics are related to operation. Items that should be tracked include the number of security incidents, the number and duration of outages, the number of lost files, the sustainable load, number of simultaneous users, and the sustainable file transport rate. These latter metrics are useful to set user expectations. Discovery. Items that can be tracked include the precision and recall on descriptive metadata, the number of files that are registered into external union catalogs, and the type of unique identifiers. Reuse. Items that can be tracked using external services include the number of citations of data sets and the number of communities applying the data in their research. Metrics can also be defined to track compliance with standards. Examples include preservation, the consistency of AIP and DIPs, the number of new technologies integrated into the data grid, and the long-term strategy for archival storage of files. Discipline standards. Items that can be tracked include compliance with domain metadata standards, compliance with domain format standards, and compliance with domain naming. Take seven minutes and complete exercise 120. Identify the set of quality metrics needed for your research collaboration. Please load a paragraph describing your result into the lifetime library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class. DataBridge is an NSF-funded project that explores use of a sociometric system for long-tail science data collections. DataBridge is an extensible system for identifying common communities. Networks are identified that represent communities with similar interests in scientific data sets. The networks are based on relationships defined by users accessing data sets, operations that are performed upon data sets, and use of multiple data sets. The principal investigators for the project are Arcot Rajasekhar Dice Center and Howard Lander Rensi. Project partners include the Dice Center, Rensi, Harvard, MIT Data Center, Harvard University, Odom Institute, the North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University, and the REACH NC project. Long tail research data is characterized as the research results of small teams or single researchers. The research data they produce are not well known by other researchers. A system is needed for organizing the long tail data into coherent collections and identifying communities with related interests. By providing information about related research, the intent is to build research communities across long tail researchers. The DataBridge project analyzes the possible communities of interest by creating a multidimensional sociometric network. Analysis algorithms are applied to the network to evaluate similarity and relevance of the data sets to other collections, perform community detection based on the resulting similarities, provide a query interface for researchers to apply their own analyses to the multidimensional network. Each node in the network represents a data set. Edges between the node represent relationships between two data sets. 
and are intended to denote a similarity measure. The similarity measure is based on common attributes associated with each data set. A strength can be associated with each relationship. By analyzing the network for data grids that are strongly linked, communities can be identified. Groups that use the same data sets form a community with common interests. Different similarity measurements can be applied to the network, resulting in the identification of multiple potential communities of interest. This approach enables the identification of communities based on common use of data sets, or common use of operations, or common modes of analysis. To build an extensible system that can incorporate multiple types of similarity measures, an asynchronous federation approach is followed. The architecture is shown here. The information sources for the analysis are either Dataverse or IROD's data grid collections. Interactions between the information sources and the network analysis are mediated by a message bus. Each information source sends messages to the message bus. The network analysis engine retrieves the messages and builds a network database. Services to reformat data files can independently access the network database and generate standard representations for the information. Relevance engines can also independently access the network and metadata databases and identify common communities. This approach makes it easy to add new information sources, add new relevance engines, add new metadata structures, and add new data reformat services. The intent is to build a generic infrastructure that can be applied across all disciplines. Please turn in the final paper by the evening of the first Monday of finals week. The final paper should be 10 pages in length and describe how you would apply the concepts learned in the course to a research collaboration or digital library. The major source for this paper can be the homework assignments submitted during the semester. The paper should include a summary of the concepts learned, how the concepts are applied to your choice of data management application, and how the desired properties can be verified. You can include information on how the driving purpose for your collection evolved over the semester and the impact the evolution had on the data management policies. The expectation for this course has been that the paragraphs written for exercises during the week can be used to generate the homework assignment due each week and that the 15 homework assignments can be condensed into the 10-page paper that's required for the final paper.